David Mathias, uh, originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I have lived in South Carolina and Georgia for the last 30, oh, almost 40 years now. I was in the Navy, Vietnam era. I was a second class fire control technician on board the New Jersey. So the fire control is the group that controls the aim on the guns. Well, we were primarily doing shore bombardment. So mostly uh, we sat offshore, depending on the depth of the water, anywhere from two to maybe five miles out and fired at targets that were designated by spotters that were ashore. Um, we did in one instance have to travel several miles up a river in order to engage a target. So in that case, we got in a little deeper. Uh, the New Jersey is just under 900 feet long. Full load displacement is 57,000 tons and she will do 36 miles an hour. Most memorable day, I was stationed at the Navy base in Guantanamo. And at the time, Castro was making a lot of noise. In addition to doing my Navy stuff, I was also assigned to base defense. And so about three o'clock one morning, we got a alarm that a potential invasion of the base. Uh, Castro had been making threats just the week before. They had moved up a bunch of stuff and uh, there had been some incidents. So we had to all jump up at three o'clock in the morning, grab rifles out of the armory and dash up into the woods. And uh, as we run up into the woods, of course you get a follow the path carefully and you can't show any lights. You gotta follow the path because of the minefields and you can't, don't have to show lights because the enemy would, potential enemy would see them. And uh, I missed a turn and stepped into a foxhole. That was memorable. <laughs> uh, face down in the dirt. But the invasion did not happen Castro evidently thought better of it. Of course, uh, the fact that an amphibious assault group came into the bay along with two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser might have had something to do with changing his mind. It was quite tense. We, uh, we actually had that night, we had a boat show up. That is a, a boat that we didn't recognize came into the harbor and uh, while everybody's scrambling around trying to figure out what was going on, the boat landed at the Admiral's house, the Admiral of the base. And the police guys, the base police, were sent down to investigate and went off the air. So at this point, everybody was getting very concerned that the whole base went on alert and it turned out that it was a, a boat full of people seeking asylum and the base police went off because uh, in his hurry to get there he ran off of the road and busted the truck and so he was trying to dig himself out of a ditch while everybody was running around looking for him. I just, I just hope they believe that I was a decent guy trying to do what was right.